Hey, I'm Carrie. Welcome back to my channel or welcome for the first time all around. Welcome. I'm Carrie Blogger, a career freelancer on Fiverr.com where I've been selling as a Fiverr Pro verified copywriter for about the past eight years. And in today's video, I am addressing one of my big pain points and annoyances about what comes up when you search Fiverr on YouTube. You don't need any skills to make money on Fiverr. A lot of it's kind of scammy, spammy, trying to like rig the system. And the truth of it is, I'm just gonna go out and say the truth is that you cannot build a sustainable business with no skills. You just can't. You might attract a couple clients for a couple projects, but there is so much competition on the platform that if you're going to be a successful seller, you have to have skills. Okay, so today we are reacting to Influencer Unchained Digital Entrepreneurship. This was posted in March of this year. They already have 208,000 views. My best video has like 20 and it's about a sync review. Come on. Anyway, and the name of the video is 20 Easy Ways to Make Money on Fiverr with No Skill with 21 free tools. Let's get into it. I will provide you 15 powerful brand or company names and slogans. As you can see, the seller has already gotten quite a few sales under his belt and even has one order in queue at this very moment. And literally all he does for $20 is provide 15 business names or slogans and that's it. Right off the bat, looking at this as an example, you are assuming that they're using this website, which I'm gonna be the optimistic person and say that maybe they're using their own brain. Maybe they're super creative and they've got experience in this. Maybe not, I don't know. But using that as an example and saying that with 36 orders, which at $5 a pop, you're, this is not a treasure trove here, they have a 4.6 star review, which on a platform that is as competitive as Fiverr, 4.6, I think you're pretty much out of the game at that point. Anything, less than 4.8, I don't think you're gonna build something sustainable and compete against other people at that low price point. So I don't think that this is gonna be successful as an example of setting yourself up for success. Yeah, I looked them up, the username isn't even there anymore after a couple months. So whether they got kicked off the platform or they decided to deactivate their account, I don't know, but not a good sign. And just like that, we've got tons of really cool names generated. Do we say that this literally just says burger? That's, that's what it, burger are. I will say I only offered business names for a very short period of time and it was not fun. People are so hard to please when it comes to business names. Oh my gosh, cycles of revision with them. They were just unable to be pleased. They had an idea for something, but they couldn't articulate it. They say, oh, that's not what I want, but I want this so, so hard. And so to think that you're just gonna pop out these automated ideas that sound so generic and vague, and that people are gonna be happy with it. I'm telling you from experience, that is gonna be a nightmare. Oh my gosh. Free slogan maker. And that's all for my coverage of the first gig, business name and slogan generation. Everyone wants a burger. The power of burger. Burger just feels right. Burger built to perfection. It must be burger. Beware of expensive burger. The burger community, full of Eastern burger. If you, if you, if you, if you are delivering these to your clients, they're gonna be so unhappy. This is why people buy cheap stuff on Fiverr. They think, oh, I'm just gonna save some bucks. They get someone like this who is just spouting random garbage at them. And they're like, wow, this makes no sense. This is a waste of my money. I hate Fiverr. And it's like, this is not the real thing. And I guarantee people are not gonna be happy with this. They will not continue to buy. They will not leave good reviews. You will have to give money back and you're not gonna be able to build something because this is a bunch of garbage. We have digital presentation design, which if I just open up the first highly rated gig at the top left, entails creating simple 10 slide editable presentations complete with infographics. Slidescarnival.com, which provides tons of free editable and already formatted templates at your disposal. So here, it is a skill to be able to make graphics and presentations that look Fantastic. And even with these free template -y stuff, if you don't have that skill and you're delivering really ugly presentations that don't look aesthetically pleasing, aren't cohesive, aren't professional, that is the skill you need to have, even to use these free skills. I'm just saying. And there is a little bit of the convenience factor here. People 
may be able to have, you know, the same roughly amount of skills as you to be able to build a presentation like this. They don't have the time to do it. I have said in previous videos before that pricing for convenience is valid, but it still has to be done well. The next we have background removal, which is a bit more competitive because it's so darn easy. A bit more competitive. I, this probably has the most gigs in the entire marketplace and it's I think probably impossible to get in. Next, proceeding on to gig number four, we have subtitling video clips with a special automation trick. As you can see here, people have been able to sell gigs for adding subtitles to video clips in various languages, which not only involves coming up with a transcript, but also synchronizing that transcript with when the respective words are actually spoken in a video. Also, YouTube does support multiple languages, but if you don't actually understand the language itself, you may not be able to check for small mistakes in the subtitles. I do think that this is another good example of paying for convenience, but I disagree that YouTube does not tend to subtitle and auto caption very accurately. And so the amount of time that you have to go through and manually edit and manually assign these things to be Again, done well, not just done at the very bare bones minimum, because that's not going to get you very far. That is gonna take a heck of a long time, and for your ultra low prices like this, it's not even going to be earning you minimum wage, assuming you're, you know, in the US. Ebook file type conversions. And yes, this is actually a thing. Again, another example, just paying for convenience, things that you know that other people don't know. And the second that this software changes, you are out of, business and you can't leverage that into something else that will continue to grow. It typically features some sort of animation with the channel's logo. For this type of gig, people are charging from $10 and above, and it's actually very easy to do because these clips usually only last for a few seconds. Again, I don't know. Using free pre-made templates, does that have it with commercial use that you can sell that? Probably not. I'm a real follower. I don't know how that would work. Look into it before you end up in trouble on multiple platforms for multiple reasons where you can either browse through lots of people's templates or use the search bar. Just be careful when using these to select one that actually specifies you can use it without attribution. Hey, thank you for at least mentioning it. Good for you. And again, knowing how to do that in a way that is aesthetically pleasing, modern and appropriate with trends and going to be seamlessly designed. Like even if you're using a tool to help speed up the design process for that and you're not a pro designer, there is still the skill of having that graphic intuition and that is something that has yet to be mentioned. Those are skills. Seventh gig, we have transcription, which is somewhat similar to the subtitling gig from earlier. I don't have to speak in this robotic voice, but I feel like it. And here, as you can see, it actually made a small mistake. Um, it's supposed to say in instead of at, but all I need to do is to right click it and select the correct um, grammar. So Google actually detects it automatically, which is another convenience. But this also doesn't have any punctuation in it. And if you were delivering a transcription file that is literally just endless text, I don't think people are gonna be happy with that. Maybe I'm totally wrong. I don't offer transcription, I don't know. Providing travel advice and planning, like giving people an itinerary or a list of attractions and restaurants you recommend. So this is an example of something that you can kind of set up for yourself and then hopefully continue to earn you more money. That makes sense. Put it together and you're selling it as a repeating service. But you have to be able to put something together that is worth even $5 for people that when they read it, they're not gonna feel like they got ripped off and leave you a bad review and blah, blah, blah. Same thing I've been saying over and over again. I totally think that this is a good idea, especially if you're interested in travel and research. I give this a thumbs up. I think that that's kind of a cool idea. Well, we have data entry, which is exactly what its name implies, punching in and categorizing information into some sort of spreadsheet. I had a friend who was in data entry in the healthcare field. That is a skill. 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 And you know what I'm going to say for virtual assistanting? It is a skill. I am sure. It definitely helps if you're well-read or professional, but even if you're not, some people would still greatly appreciate the perspective of the average reader, especially if they want to do accurate market research and if you charge a competitive price. Really quick backing up. So he said, you know, it helps if you're professional, which yeah, even if you're going as the angle of I'm an average person offering super affordable thing, if you're going to read someone's book and give them feedback for like 15 bucks, how many hours are you going to spend reading the book? If you are a speed reader, that's a skill. If you can succinctly 
capture your thoughts about a book in a way that's meaningful for an author, that is a skill. Most people don't have those skills. And so if you're just going to pretend to read a book, throw a couple generic sentences their way and say, hey, great job, loved it. That's not gonna get you good reviews. That's not going to earn you money. It's not gonna build a career. That's not gonna be successful. While freelancing can be both rewarding and lucrative, personally, I prefer creating streams of passive income like with my YouTube videos here and other ventures like affiliate marketing. And so to check out a very powerful program I follow to create a lot more freedom, flexibility, and wealth in my life, I highly recommend- All right, we're done watching that. Okay, so to summarize everything I said, I'm sure that this is mostly for clickbait stuff, the whole no skills on Fiverr. I want you to hear me very clearly. You have skills, whether that's how you promote yourself, communication, organization, your tech savvy, timeliness. All of these things are skills. You can leverage those into successful gigs. There are those other things that are primarily based in convenience but they're still skills and you still have to know how to do it and it's still going to take you time. And I have done my fair share of the $5 gigs. I built my business up from that, that's where I started. And just telling you right now that the amount of money that you're going to be making on those super, super cheap gigs that still require your time, still require your expertise is not sustainable. Maybe you're not looking for that, I don't know. Maybe you literally just wanna get a fast 20 bucks and get out, that's fair. But for the kind of actually making money and actually building up something real. Let me say it one more time. You have to have skills. All right, that's the end of this video. I feel like I just said the same thing over and over and over and over again. I am glad that this actually had some decent ones. Some of them were pretty bad. The business name ones, free slogan generator, pretty bad. Thanks for being here, thanks for watching. Again, I'm Carrie Blogger, check back on Tuesday for One Take Tuesdays and Friday for Freelance Fridays every single week as I dive into the world of freelancing and writing. Merry Christmas coming up soon. Happy holidays, happy Thanksgiving just happened. Happy quarantining and uh, let's get back to work.